The big mover, of course, was Du Peng Yu after his semi-final in India went up five places. And after a second semi-final in two weeks, in fact, Du Peng Yu will go up to number three after this week's tournament here in Singapore. Well, Lee Chong Wei will consolidate his spot at the top of the destination Dubai rankings. Malaysia, Lee Chong Wei! Because he is the world number one. He's about to contest his fifth Super Series tournament final of 2014, and we're only at the fifth event of the 12th tournament. Put your hands together Medline for Simon Santoso! His opponent, Simon Santoso, well, he was in the final six years ago. And in the final six years ago, he had to play against his opponent of today. He's had his injury problems, he's been out of the sport, he missed six months, but he's making his way back. And what a comeback he's having. A couple of weeks ago, he won the Malaysian Grand Prix Gold event. Here he is, two weeks on, in the final of a Super Series event. Today's final will be his seventh match in six days. The umpire, Jakob Sinberg of Denmark. The toss of the coin. And Lee Chong Wei. Well, what can we say about this man? Today is his 83rd career final. He's already won 54 titles. He is, without question, the number one player in the world. And look at his win-loss record so far this year, 23 and 1. The one match he lost was in the final of the Korean Open when he lost it out to the world number two, Chen Long. But he got revenge over Chen Long, both at the All England Championships and also in India last week. So there you can see all of his previous matches in straight games, and it's extraordinary that he hasn't played against a seeded player all tournament, and he won't do today either because his opponent is come through the qualifying. Well, Lee Chong Wei, a big supporter of the Super Series, and he's been having a chat to us a little earlier on. I think uh, defending and 2 0 in the final also, in uh, Simon Santoso. I think it is a 2 0 1 for the six years ago. I also had an uh, enjoy for tomorrow's match. Uh, I have nothing to lose. I know a lot of the friends come to the stadium and they support me. I also I can play well and uh, enjoy for Singapore Open for tomorrow match. Yeah, well, he certainly enjoyed yesterday because it was his son's first birthday. Baby Kingston, a year old yesterday. So to his opponent and the 28-year-old from Central Java, Simon Santoso. Well, he's actually down in the world ranking this week, down 14 places to number 52. Uh, but his win-loss record for the year, as I say, it's very, very impressive because he's coming back from injury and he is playing exceptionally well. He's come through his first five matches in straight games and it was only yesterday in the semi-final against the number five seed Du Peng Yu of China where he was taken the full distance an hour and 13 minutes so that of course means with six previous matches that today's final is his seventh match in six days I wonder if that physically will take its toll and be an influence today well uh, Simon Santosa well, it's great to see him back, and I think he's pretty happy to be back too. Untuk tahun ini, uh, saya cukup senang masih dari awal tahun kemarin juga saya sempat juara di Malaysia Grand Prix, dan di sini uh, semakin hari semakin saya saya berharap semakin hari semakin bagus penampilan saya. Yes, well, he is improving. There's no doubt about that after the injury problems and his world ranking just so unrealistic he has been as high as three in the world but that is ominous if you are an indonesian fan 
because this the 11th meeting between the two players and Simon Santoso has only won on one occasion and that was back in 2009 the last time they met was in the semi-final of the Japan Open of 2012 and as you saw from the scoreline 7 and 17 pretty comfortable for Lee Chong Wei so our court officials, uh, Jakob Simberg of Denmark and Wolfgang Lund of France, two very, very experienced officials. So for Li Chong Wei, his fifth tournament of the year, his Ladies fifth final. On my right, Li Chong Wei, Malaysia. And on my left, Simon Santoso, Indonesia. <laughs> Lee Chong Wei, third level play. So the world number one former champion here, Lee Chong Wei, beating his opponent of today six years ago in the final of the Singapore Open. This is in fact his third final here at this particular event because he was beaten finalist before the Super Series back in 2004. One, Super Series came into existence in 2007. Oh, I thought that one was going wide too. Well, oh goodness me, there's going to be a challenge, a very, very early challenge from Simon Santoso. And I was talking the other day about handling challenges and when you use them. And to challenge so early on, mind you, at the Indian Wells tennis tournament in the final just recently with Djokovic against Roger Federer. Djokovic challenged on the very first point of the match here we've got it on the second point of the match well it is called in good challenge challenge successful two challenges remaining two love That's nice. Great disguise. Opponents have to be so fearful of his power, explosive attacking play, that it means that the disguise drop shot it becomes even more potent. Clever, clever, clever play. Well, how often do you see Lee Chong Wei sent in the wrong direction? Not often. That is a rarity. Oh, that's just long. Seven, seven, Four, three. <coughs> that's just wide. Seven, seven, yeah, remember the drift as we look Four, down on the court from oh. right to left. There's a challenge from Lee Chong Wei. It was called in. 
Lee Chong Wei believes it to be out. Mm. I think it's in. It certainly is. Yeah, Lee Chong Wei has lost one of his challenges. at the start of this match. Oh, incredible defence. And that's gone long. seem to enjoy success here at the Singapore Open in this men's singles category. Short. Yeah, got what it deserved. Because Simon Santoso is trying to become the fourth uh, different Indonesian in ten championships to win this title. The other's been Taufik Hidayat back in 2005. Sonny Dui Kunchuro four years ago, and of course last year Tommy Sugiato. Well, hit the top of the tape, fell back Six, his side. Seven. such a good smash straight down the line Seven, oh. but as I was saying a little earlier when he just turns that and fades it across court it becomes very very effective so back level seven all Cool, good. No, he doesn't want to waste the second of his challenges. This is why I'm a little surprised that he maybe used the challenge early on. Yeah, that was in. Good call. Because unlike tennis, Badminton players only get two challenges per match. Tennis players get three challenges per set. So you have to be far, far more canny with when you use your challenges. Scratch of the head 
from the world number one. This wasn't in the game plan. That's wide. Seven, four, out. Eight, ten. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Straight down the line. And the qualifier, Simon Santoso, has a three point advantage at the mid game interval. Ten minutes into the match. the same sort of dynamic explosive movement of his opponent but it's very effective isn't it it's seconds. like so many Indonesian men's singles players just seems to glide around the court It's got to be tight because otherwise Lee Chong Wei will absolutely pounce on it. Oh, he's beaten him again. Completely deceived him for a second time. Sean. Look at that. Ten, Two net shots. 13. Great control from both players. Absolutely superb. The way he's out maneuvering the Lee Chong Wei. Deep in the forehand seven. corner. Gets behind the shuttle quickly and thunders it straight down the line. Fifteen, eleven. 
brilliant. Oh. Well, commanding the rally there, Santoso. to this men's singles final by 17, the qualifier, 11. Simon Santoso. Well, it's as if he hasn't been away from the elite level of the game. Missed the whole six months of international play. But he is back, and he is back in style. Just a, a stunned 11. silence from the crowd. <laughs> Lee Chong Wei looks rattled. <laughs> uh, well, so much for my theory. Just what we're used to seeing from the world number one shots like that. 12, 18. That from Lee Chong Wei. So, so uncharacteristic. And some toes are just two points away from taking this opening game. Listen to the fans, Lee Chong Wei, Lee Chong Wei. Rally. He's doing 
Oh, well, hitting the deep forehand corner of Lee Chong Wei. And that is Plum on the line. And up come game point opportunities for Santoso. Yeah, first time, and he converts 21 15 in 23 minutes. First game won by Simon Santoso, 21 15. Well, that was astonishing. The world number one was outplayed in game number one. This the final point of the opening game. Well, Lee Chong Wei has got a real battle on his hands now. He's going to have to up his game. He's going to have to cut out some of his unforced errors. Well. Certainly, if he's going to lift trophies as he's done earlier this year, including, of course, the prestigious All England Championships, where he took his third title in six consecutive finals. Well, he's going to have to sort of recapture that sort of form. Yeah, look at the delights in Birmingham last month. Well, he needs to draw on all that experience because, quite frankly, in that opening game, he was outplayed. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Well, he always looks calm to me, does Simon Santoso. Well. He has won two Super Series titles previously as the Indonesian 2009 Denmark Open. And, of course, his home event in 2012. Second shortly game. after that victory in Jakarta in 2012, where he beat Du Peng Yu in the final, where his injury woes really started. My goodness me. What a way, if he was to win this, to announce his comeback. One, love. Smash down the forehand side. How many smashes down the forehand side? Two, and in one. fact, clears down the forehand side that deceived Lee Chong Wei in the opening game. There's another. Oh, my goodness. Well. He's just not reading the game at the moment. Not reading his opponent's shots. Well, Santoso thinking ahead to Thomas Cup finals. Oh. 
for one. Highest he could probably play his third singles. That makes their team very strong indeed. And with that won't be on his mind at the moment. He'll be concentrating 100% on the job in hand. One. Well, well, well. Six, one. I wouldn't have predicted this at all. I'm well, asking to tell down. Jakub Simberg, the umpire, saying no. Tay Subok, the, the Malaysian coach, is looking a little worried. He's missed it. Service over. Two, six. He missed it by some way. Extraordinary. He's almost hitting winners at will. Seven, I really can't two. remember the last time I've seen any player manage to do that against the world number one. Yeah. Four smash winners to zero. Nothing seems to be going right for Lee Chong Wei. This net shot as he comes forward, usually he's so sound on those. Well, he's not the sort of character I don't think to really be over complacent about an opponent and he will know from matches in the past against Simon Santoso what a quality player he is what good skills he's got so I can't believe that he was overconfident coming into this match and besides which that's not the way I'm reading it so far well that's cool goods Here's another Dance challenge. In. Lee Chong Wei convinced that was long. Oh, well. Yeah. Thought maybe that was just long. Oh, it just clipped the line. So he has no challenges left. Challenge unsuccessful. No challenge remaining. Nine, two. Oh, I can hardly believe this. Always, I'm a strong believer that the true test of a champion Nine. is how they fight through adversity. And at a game, and now 3 9 down, his back is against the wall. How will he respond in this difficult situation? Oh, with an error at the net.
10, 3. Yeah, he's not happy with himself, and I can understand why. doing their best to lift their favourite player, Lee Chang Wei. Mm, that's found the line as well. A seven-point advantage at the mid-game interval of game number two. But he's been so accurate with his attacking play so far. Santoso. Look again, that's inside the sideline. And Lee Chong Wei's judgment is off at the moment. Can he 20 respond? Seconds. 20 seconds. He's looking a little shell shocked. Well, ringing, winning back-to-back -back titles in two titles in two weeks, as he's trying to do, is never easy. Well, the dive will mean that the court has to be mopped. But first of all, the attack down the backhand side, then down the forehand. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised by that stat. His attacking well, play has been awesome. Four. Nicely done. Five, One of the rare occasions that the Indonesian has been out of position. Yeah, that's good. This is a big point. Oh, he's landed well in. That's a poor judgment from Santoso. Mm. It's made 
make the same mistake again. Yeah, he won't bother to challenge that. There was no question. It was in. Deep forehand corner again of Lee Chong Wei. Wow, well, that's explosive dynamic style of the world number one. There was an eight point deficit just a moment ago. And now on a run of five straight points. At 9-12 down, all of a sudden it's believable in the Malaysian's mind that he can come back, he can win this. It looked dire at 4-12. There's a good flick serve. Two points the deficit now. a good run of points six straight points and he is back in this second game there's no question of that good net shot yeah and it was the tight spinning net shot that forced the lift that was not a full length to the back of the court. Take a look at this. Look where Simon Santosa's feet are inside the double service line as he leaps in the air. That's the indication that the clear or the lift was short. And he finds the winning angle once again. Set up with the shot deep down into the Malaysian forehand corner. Yeah, good flick serve. That's short. Oh, how calm and collected was that. Going for the disguised drop shot, the reverse slice, keeping the shuttle straight. And time is running out for Lee Chong Wei.
Good defense. Lee Chong Wei appears to be moving even quicker. This is a last ditch attempt. Oh, great defense. Unbelievable running. That is sensational, badminton. Lee Chong Wei. Well, I could visibly see him trying to up the pace, up the pace of his movement to make a difference, but everything he tried, Santoso had an answer. And that vicious slice on the final shot from the Indonesian doing the damage. Yep, down the forehand again. Well, he had an eight point cushion at 12 4. He's earned himself another eight point cushion, but this time he only requires another three points for what would be his third Super Series title. Overdone it. Creeping ever closer to the finish line. Well, I literally cannot remember the last time that I saw Lee Chong Wei outplayed in a match. Uh, but certainly so far, he has been outplayed. That hasn't helped either, though, has it? 12 unforced errors. Two points for the title. Great defense. That's great, forehand corner once again. That has been where he has beaten Lee Chong Wei today. Big deep breaths there from Simon Santoso because he is on the verge of victory. What would be a famous victory? He has got 10 match point opportunities. Who would have thought Well, at the start of the week, in the qualifying draw, and he's one point away from being the champion. He is the Singapore Open champion. Simon Santoso, his third Super Series title. The Indonesian is back, and he's back to possibly his best ever form. Struggling with injury for so long, one problem after another. His world ranking plummeted. It will go shooting up again after this week, I can tell you. 21-15, 21-10 in the second game. 48 minutes from start to finish. And Simon Santoso has come as a qualifier and left as champion.
this the final rally? Well, his attacking play was superb. Yes, I admit Lee Chong Wei made some unforced errors today that were uncharacteristic, but he really wasn't allowed to play his own game. Yeah, and that's a lovely sportsmanship from Lee Chong Wei at the end of the match. He must be bitterly disappointed. But my goodness, what a champion. Well, we can hear what Simon Santoso has to say about that victory. Pertama-tama saya juga senang ya, apa, apalagi sudah lama tidak pernah mengalahkan Chong Wei. Dan terima kasih buat support, uh, support uh, Indonesia, buat saya khususnya. Terima kasih buat menonton semua di sini. Ya. Well, what he says is, of course, uh, he was nervous in the beginning, but uh, because he has uh, some training, he's uh, very excited to play with Lee Chong Wei as well, and also because of the support from the Indonesian fans once again. Do you guys hear that? Now, uh, with this victory, where do you think you stand in the rankings? Ya, dalam permenangan ini, bagaimana rasa anda? Untuk uh, prestasi yang akan akan datang. Ya, ya, yang pasti saya berharap juga untuk di turnamen ke depan saya masih untuk lebih stabil lagi untuk penampilan saya dan bisa meraih prestasi lebih bagus lagi. Okay, he says uh, his journey forward uh, he's looking to stabilize himself and of course play better for his next career. Should we give a big hand everybody and wish uh, let's hope his wish come true. And finally, tell us more about the Singapore fans right here. What do you think about fans right here? Bagaimana dengan teman-teman uh, uh, dari Indonesia dan Singapura? Senang nggak? Ya pasti senang ya. Apalagi penonton Indonesia juga banyak juga di sini Bu uh, buat supporternya. Terima kasih buat semuanya ya. Thank you. Well, with that, ladies and gentlemen, we hope uh, you enjoyed the segment right here with our champion. We shall now bring you forward to join us at the podium. Let's go to the winner stand. Well. Who would have predicted that? Well, perhaps only Simon Santoso, the only person who really believed that he would win today. I think most other people would have thought it was all but a foregone conclusion. What did I say earlier in the day? That's the beauty of sport. You just never know what's going to happen. Favourites can lose, underdogs can win. And this the final point and the moment of victory. A third Super Series title for Simon Santoso. Well, prize presentation for the men's singles coming up. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, our referee, Miss Jane Whitley from Australia. So the tournament referee, Jane Whitley from Australia, receiving a memento to remember the occasion. And Philip Lee, the deputy referee from Singapore. And the Two match officials for the men's singles, Jakob Simberg. Yeah, great honor for the match Sieger officials the officiating from a major final. And Wolfgang Lund you, from Lund. France as well. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome a renaissance from Malaysia, Lee Chong Wei! Well, his fifth final of the year in his fifth Super Series tournament of the year and for only the second time he's been beaten and look at that isn't that lovely from Lee Chong Wei applauds his opponent onto the podium well this also is what sport is about mutual respect you battle on the courts 
and then you respect the achievements of your opponent, win or lose. And for Lee Chong Wei, well, it's not often he loses, but he is human after all. But for Simon Santosa, what a week it's been. What a thoroughly deserved champion he is. The seventh match in six days, and he beats the world number one. And doesn't just beat him, he beats him soundly. 21-15, 21-10. Well, Ali Chong Wei will consolidate his place on the top of both the world ranking and the destin destination Dubai rankings. Simon Santoso, a third Super Series uh, title, his tenth title in total throughout his career but I wonder if he will consider uh, this the most important that he's ever won because he's come back from injury and he's come back at one of the biggest tournaments of the year and he's beaten the world number one you don't get much better than that Well, they will pose for the photographers. Well, Simon Santosa did his very best in today's final. Well, what a day it's been at the OUE Singapore Open, the fifth tournament 
on the MetLife BWF World Super Series. There you can see all the results from the day. Three titles to China, two titles to Indonesia, and it all started with the defending champions. In the mixed doubles, the world champions defended their title against their teammates in two straight games. The women's singles, it was a repeat of the Olympic final. And in contrast to the Olympic final, it was Wang Yi Han who won today, as indeed she did a year ago in a repeat of that final. Men's doubles, well, Taiyun and Lu Kai surprised everyone this tournament. They're virtually a brand new pair. They'd only played one previous tournament and they'd lost in the first round. Women's doubles was an absolute thriller. The European champions, the Danes, trying to become the first Danes to win the women's doubles here in Singapore, fell just a little short and it meant that their opponents won their ninth title in 11 tournaments played. And what a surprise in the men's singles. The world number one, Lee Chong Wei, being outplayed today by the qualifier, the former world number three, Simon Santoso. It really has been an incredible day. Well, incredible day, incredible rallies and incredible shots. Here are our plays of the day. Well, in the women's singles, uh, Wang Yi Han, well, the two players moved each other from corner to corner. The net play was brilliant. The skills, the attacking play was sensational. And this rally we're seeing now was indicative of the whole match. It was really women's singles of the very, very highest quality. I think this was the longest rally we had all day. It was absolutely incredible. Look at the movement of the players. The net shot there from Wang Yi Han. And quite frankly, with rallies like this, against virtually any other player in the world, she would have won that several shots ago. But so they battled on and on. Well, in the women's doubles, uh, the rapid fire exchange, the fast dynamic play of both of the women's doubles pairs. Well, it really was incredible. It was a delightful women's doubles to watch. Just look at the speed, look at the way that both players and pairs trying to get on the attack. The defense, incredible, but in the end, as with that rally, the Chinese pair conquered. They won their ninth title in 11 tournaments. Phenomenal badminton. And our third play of the day was Simon Santoso. How often do you see Lee Chong Wei outplayed? Well, I can't remember when I last saw that. But the man who started the week in the qualifying maneuvered the Malaysian. And with blocks, he seemed to read the game so well, the Indonesian. And especially his attacking play down the forehand side was absolutely outstanding. So he came as a qualifier, he left as champion. And of course, with all five finals completed, we too will take our leave. Of course, the next Super Series event is the Japan Open from the 10th to the 15th of June. We will be back for that. But in the meantime, from all the team here in Singapore, until the next time, bye-bye.